Hi everyone, in this video, I am doing my very first collab video, yay! I'm super excited and I'm doing it with the beautiful and talented Cynthia Rivas. It was her brilliant idea and I was so excited and jumped at the chance. I love her channel. I will tell you all about it in two seconds. But first, for all things beauty and skincare, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you know every time I upload a new video every Saturday. Hi, so in this video, this collab video, Cynthia and I are going to be answering 20 questions. That way you can kind of get to know us a little bit better. Super fun, I thought it was a great idea. And first, I just wanna highlight Cynthia's channel. She does makeup tutorials, get ready with me videos, vlogs, hauls. She is not only beautiful, sweet, and genuine, but she's super talented. So please check out her channel, subscribe to her. She's amazing. And we've actually been doing this about the same time. So I thought that was interesting and I really do love her channel. So let's get to the 20 questions. Okay, question one, where were you born? Okay, so I was born, I have all my questions down here, so if I look down. Um, I was born in Parma, Ohio, and if you're not familiar, which most people aren't, it is a suburb of Cleveland. Um, I was born there, but I actually grew up in this little small town called Litchfield, and that's about 45 minutes away from Cleveland. I loved growing up there. You know, it was, um, a small town we actually had a cornfield right around our high school and we had tractor day but i met really great people and friends and i actually uh, my friend holly and annette i still am friends with them i love them so much and i want those types of friendships for my kids so i do eventually want to move out to a smaller area um, maybe not such a big city area. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just feel like um, that's where I grew up. That's where my husband kind of grew up. So I think that's what we want for our kids. Um, yeah, and I would love it if my kids had the friends that I still have to this day. Yay. Question number two. Favorite drink? Easy, Prosecco. Love it. Drink of choice all the time. Number three, favorite food. Okay, so this one was a really hard one for me because I'm not a foodie at all. I can't cook, don't like to cook, but anyway, my favorite food, if I was gonna pick something, I'm gonna say um, homemade chicken soup because it's great when it's cold out or when you're sick and it's kind of comforting. I remember my mom used to make it um, when we were sick, so I'm gonna go with homemade chicken soup. I know that's boring, but. Uh, let's see. Number four, favorite perfume, Clinique's Happy. I love it. I actually have a, quite a few perfumes because I always like to try different things to see what works. Um, and then you kind of get a little bored, but I get the most compliments from Happy. So um, that's my perfume of choice. I actually ran out. I have to get some. It reminds me. Um, number five, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two amazing sisters, Wendy and Jen. I love them so much um, and I just want to say that we were not close when we were young they were like those two are like two peas in a pod they're like best buds and they're adorable but they were like tomboys and I was like the little prima donna I guess I was very girly so as we were growing up we were, really weren't that close and then as we got older we really got to appreciate each other more <laughs> I'm speaking for myself I hope they appreciate me but I love them so much um, my sister Wendy has two boys, Brody and Keegan, and my sister has Janie. Um, you know, I just, I don't know what I would do without them. I really honestly, um, and, and that's part of the reason why I had my, I wanted to have another child because I wanted Tristan to have that sibling to have, you know, to be close to and to have, to experience life with. And I think that's super important. Um, I really honestly, be, without getting emotional, I. I love my sisters so much and I hope they know that. I hope that I tell them enough and I am getting emotional. I just love them, you know. Um, sisters and siblings, they're they're just super important. So, um I love them. Okay. My sister Jen lives in Alaska and my sister Wendy has now moved back to New Mexico. So, um unfortunately, I wish we would have lived closer together, but that's the way it is and it's hard sometimes to you know, get on that 
phone call, phone call and really catch up. But when we do, it really is great. And um, sometimes I'm on the phone with them for hours. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it and um, but anyway I love them and I hope they know that I, I know they do know that but I'm telling them again I love you guys okay and I also I love my nephews and my niece too I want to make that very clear they're amazing um, love them okay number six favorite artist or band okay so when I was younger I would have said Eagles and meatloaf love them I love I love classic rock but I think now I would have to pick Adele. I think she is an amazing artist, great singer, a great performer, and I could lis literally listen to her all day. Love her. Okay, number seven, the best advice you ever received. I'm gonna say, I'm, I gave this to myself basically. Um, I used to wake up in the middle of the night with just sweating because I was like so upset about decisions that I made in the past or things that I did in the past that I regretted and it's such a waste of energy to to have those negative feelings and beat yourself up about things that you cannot change you cannot change the past so my advice to myself and to you is let go of the past and be present um, be present and enjoy the moment because I don't want to wake up 10 years down the line and just have all those negative feelings that I had about the past and you just have to let things go and enjoy the moment. I think that that's super important. Yeah, I guess that's my own advice. Anyway, take it or leave it. Okay, so number eight, my biggest fear. That's easy, I'm an older mom. I had my first child at 43, second at 47 years old. So my biggest fear is that I'm not going to be around when they get married or have kids um, or even their first girlfriend or boyfriend, whichever that may be. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I am afraid of that. Um, but like I said, you can't live in regret. I just enjoy every moment that I have with them. They are the best kids. I love them. Okay, number nine, my dream vacation. Easy, Maldives. I've been wanting to go there forever. I want to go on those little villas over the water, um, just drinking my Prosecco and enjoying the beautiful scenery. So that is my dream vacation and I will be doing it. It is on my bucket list. I just don't know when. I do ju did just give birth to a child four months ago, so I don't know when that's gonna happen. Okay, number 10, a fact people don't know about you. Okay, so I did a little acting back in the day when I was about 25, I was living in Cincinnati and I really wanted to do acting. I did like a couple local commercials. I did a music video, but it was with a band that was not well known. I don't, I never even saw the music video. I don't even know what it looked like. Um, and then I also did a really, really, really bad B movie and I actually would call it like a D movie because it was that bad. So. I gave up the acting bug and part of it was because I was in Cincinnati, you can't really do much acting there. And secondly, I don't think I was very comfortable in my own skin, I wasn't confident. And I definitely think you need that if you wanna get into that line of work. Um, so yeah, I don't do it anymore. I'm, I'm much more in tune with myself and much more confident now, but no, I have not tried any acting lately. Um, number 11, are you a cat or dog lover? I am an animal lover above all, but dogs are pretty much perfect. They are amazing creatures and I think sometimes I like them more than I like people most days. But, okay, number 12, my top five movies. Okay, number one, Princess Bride. If you have not seen that movie, go out and watch that movie. It is so amazing. I love it. Number two, um, When Harry Met Sally. Number three, A Few Good Men. Number four, Good Will Hunting. These are not in any particular order. And number five, Gone with the Wind. I know all of these are super old, but I'm gonna tell you, I don't get out much to the movies and I just don't have the time. And when I do, I haven't found any movie that I'm like, oh my God, it's the best movie I've ever seen. So. These top five has been basically my top five for quite a long time. So if you have any suggestions on that, please let me know. I'm open to watching another movie. 
Um, Number 13. What is something that started out badly but ended up great? That is easy. It was my IVF struggle. I, uh, it was a long, emotional, physical, um, financial drain um, on me and my husband. Um, it was tough going for a long time. I never, I actually thought at one point that I would not be a mom or I would have to adopt, which was totally fine, but I did want to experience being pregnant. Anyway, six years later, um, we have two beautiful children and I could not be happier. They are amazing, they're beautiful children and I'm, I'm really, really happy and I'm grateful that that all worked for me. It doesn't work for everybody. So um, my doctor actually told me, he's like, wow, I didn't think it was gonna happen for you. So you're like, one of the exceptions so I'm glad he told me that after the fact I don't, I don't know if he would have told me that before I would have been too excited about the process but anyway it's a difficult process if anyone has gone through it they understand so I'm very grateful um, number 14 what is the emoji you use the most I use two all the time I use the two pink hearts and I use the crying emoji the laughing the you're laughing so hard you're crying emoji. Those two all the time, every day, multiple times a day. Love them. Number 15. What in your opinion opinion will always be in fashion no matter how much time passes? I'm going to go with a little black dress. I have a few, but my favorite right now is a Reese black dress. It's super feminine, flattering because it's not super tight, especially after having a kid. You know, I still have some work to do, but definitely I think over the years, the little black dress really doesn't go out of style. Um, number 16, if they made a movie about your life, who would, you, who would you want to play you? What actress? I would go with Nicole Kidman. I think she's an amazing actress. I love her. And not lately, but in the past, I have been told that I resembled her. Not look like her, but resemble her. Um, yeah, that's what I've heard. Other ones that I've gotten, um, I'd be interested if you guys have celebrities that you think you get that you look or resemble, but I've gotten Meg Ryan, Oksana Bayul, and what was the other one? Oh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Those are the ones that I've gotten over the years. Lately, I don't get anything. Um, yeah, I, I haven't gotten anything lately because <laughs> I'm getting older, I don't know. Um, okay, number 17. What is the best or worst practical joke ever played on you or vice versa? Okay, so this is really embarrassing, but it wasn't me who did it, so I'm gonna say it. Um, my dear friend Holly that I mentioned earlier. So we were in college and it was my birthday. My sisters came to celebrate, Holly came, or Holly was there, I think we were rooming together at the time at Ohio State, go Bucks. Um, so anyway, we had gone out drinking, of course, and then the next morning I was super hungover and I was so tired, but I had to go to this class. So I grabbed my book bag, ran to class, sat down, opened the book bag, and this god awful smell. It was, ga I was gagging, literally, like I'm almost gonna gag. I kind of remember that smell. I was like, oh my God, what is it? People were looking at me, it was so bad. Close up my book bag super fast, run out of class. And I don't know why I didn't like throw away the backpack on the way home, but I didn't. I go back to the dorm. I open the book bag because I was like, what smells? There is a Girl Scout cookie box. And in the box is a Ziploc bag of poop. Holly, my dear friend, poops in the bag and put it in the box and put it in my book bag and let it sit there marinating all night. Uh-huh. Who does that? Who does that? Holly does that, yes. Thank you, Holly. Never, ever forget that, ever. Don't do that joke or practical joke. Okay, 18. If you had to pick one food or drink to eat and drink forever, what would it be? I'm gonna say French fries and Prosecco. I think they go good anyway together. So those are the two I'm choosing. Um, number 19, we're almost done. What is something most people don't worry about but should worry about. Okay, I'm gonna go with the trash problem we have in this country, in this world. Um, I live in Hoboken and then I also live in New York City and when you live in these big cities, you do notice these huge garbage bags piled up on top of each other all the time. 
I think our landfills are really getting to be overloaded. I think we're running out of space for trash. We have way too many people, way too much trash. It really does keep me up at night sometimes. Um, I feel like people need to start worrying about this. I don't know. I would love to hear what other people worry about, but I don't think people really think about it. I don't know. Do you? I, I don't know. And the last question, number 20, what was cool when you were young but isn't now? There are so many. <laughs> I grew up in the 70s and 80s. So there's so many. Long list, but I'm going to go with my top pick of parachute pants. They've never come back into style, so I think that should be a good pick for me. I don't know about you guys. Anyway, those are my 20 questions. I hope you found it interesting. Um, it was fun to do. I loved it. Thank you, Cynthia, for, for thinking of this. I can't wait to see Cynthia's answers as well. I think that's gonna be fun to watch. Make sure you check her channel out. And if you did find it fun or interesting or you learned something new about me, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, make a little comment below. I would love to hear from you guys, okay? And I will see you all next time, bye.